Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And today we are doing something different. So <clears throat> I think I mentioned in a preview, I'm actually, you'll hear this in another video that comes out, I believe next week. But um, I want us to actually go ahead and get started on this. So I'm going to post this. This is going to be uploading today because I'm just like, you know what? Let's not waste any time. Um, so one of my favorite um, people who I review, um, Black Yogi with Nico Marie, she is starting a 30-day challenge in the month of June. And we're going to do it. And But we're not going to do it alone. Um, I would love and employ all those who view and watch this channel to do the challenge with me. We're going to do it together as a family. Um, and the name of the challenge is BEAM, and it is an acronym. So it stands for Balance, Energy, Ability, and Mindset. And um, she's going to, most of the videos are going to be between 20 to 25 minutes. So they're not going to be too long. They're going to get right to it. Um, so I want to basically make sure that we do that together. I'm not going to post, um, every day of doing this. Cause I do want you to go to her channel and do it, but I am, I am go me myself. I'm doing it every day. I am going to do it every day. And, um, I will remind you that I'm doing it every day, just in case you think I'm not. Um, so I do want us to do this together. I want us to get started. I want us to do all this and, it's going to be great. So I'm excited for it. Um, the first one today is June 1st. We are getting right to it. Um, the video that um, we have today called is. Welcome Warm Up. So we're getting right into it. So I do employ for you guys to definitely join in on this. And also too, you may notice I am dressed slightly different today because <laughs> It is in the 80s already, and it is not even 12 o'clock yet. This is Chicago. So summer for us is, I think it's officially here. I think it's here to stay. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to start the practice in a seated position and we're going to um, get going from there. Once we're in the meditation pose for some time and she's kind of explaining what we're doing, um, we then transition to um, doing a stretch on each side and really just getting um, ready for the practice. And then once we do the stretch, um, as far as a gentle twist and all that, we are going to end up in um, a tabletop position.
Look who's made her his appearance for the first time in a row. Zero. Okay, now we are finally in this tabletop position after doing some gentle stretches um, in our comfortable seat position. And um, in the table position, we're basically gonna be moving around our hips and our um, stretching our wrists and getting us prepared to um, get to a downward facing dog um, pose. And then here she actually goes into detail of the better, best form of that. From the downward facing dog pose, we then are on transition to a plank. Uh, and by the way, I should mention, since this is an introductory um, course um, to get us um, started off with this, she does give us alternate poses. I'm just doing the poses I'm used to doing. From the plank, we are going to then end up lying on our belly um, for a sphinx pose. the sphinx pose, pose we do end up getting back into all fours and from there um, we are going to transition to extended child's pose again.
From the extended child's pose, we do then transition over to um, seating to a seated position, and we're going to have one leg out um, where we're going to do a twist um, by a um, seated, um, still seated, but then just twisting with one leg out, one leg um, close to our chest. We're going to be doing that on both sides. Once we finish the twist on both sides, we are then going to lie on our back and give um, put our knees in, get into our chest and give ourselves a big, nice big squeeze. And from there, we're going to then do a bridge pose multiple times. And then we're gonna go back to giving ourselves a big hug um, with our knees and our chest. And then we are going to close the practice um, to corpse pose, AKA Shavasana. And then we will end up in a comfortable seated position where we then namaste.
So that concludes the practice for today. Um, how I will rate that, I'm rating it a solid 10. 10 out of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And the reason why I'm rating it that is because um, it truly was an introductory course. And even someone like myself who does yoga on a fairly regular basis needs that. Especially if you're someone like me who doesn't go to classes, like I just do it through YouTube. Um, what she did that was different from all the other um, sessions she has done in the past, she's explaining the perfect technique as you're doing the poses. So, you know, the more you do certain routines, the more you kind of get lazy with your technique. So for Downward Facing Dog, she helped me adjust. To, so as you, you probably could tell in the video, I was adjusting my Down Facing Dog, Downward Facing Dog based upon what she was saying. And also, Savasana, like that, that, that vasana thing that you say at the end of the official way of saying yoga terms, that means pose. I never knew that. And so she was explaining what the actual legit term was. And then she would give you like, you know, the term that most of us use like child's pose or something like that. But she would use like the actual pose. I don't remember all of them. The only one I remember is shavasana because I know corpse pose. Shavasana is like, <laughs> that's the one I learned first. Don't judge me on why I know that one first, but that's the one I know first. The one where you go sleep. You're just like, uh, maybe that's my favorite pose. It might be, it just might be. I think that's most people's favorite pose though, right? You're relaxing. Um, anyway, that's why it's 10 out of 10. Also too, random side note, the fact that both of my cats this time made an appearance, they even liked it. See, they liked it too. It was good, it was good, it was good. But that's the beginning of this new introductory, well not introductory, this 10 day chat, not 10 day, wow, words. They're hard, I promise you they're hard. 30 day challenge. And I'm going to hold you guys accountable. I want you to hold me accountable. We're gonna do this challenge together. I'm Again, like I mentioned before at the beginning, I'm not gonna film every day I do it but I will post updates to let you know I'm still doing the challenge. And so I want you guys to do it too with me, okay? So I'm gonna put the link of her channel in the description like I always do for anyone who I review. And I want you to check out her 30 day challenge with me and do it with me, okay? All right, anyway, um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, AKA the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Oh before I do that. I also want to mention, I am gonna still review other YouTubers that do yoga. I'll probably start doing two a days again, like I was doing before, um, because, side note, summer months, I don't go to the gym as much. And um, I even have a gym buddy who's been asking where I've been. Well, it's, I like being outside when it's nice out. So I do a lot more outside stuff in the summer months, but I use yoga as a way of cross training. So I still stay injury free because for those who don't know, my main discipline is running. So I use yoga to keep me good on that. And also for this too, of course. And I also do strength training and everything else too, but I don't want to lose all that momentum. So I am going to probably still do two. I'm going to, still review other YouTubers who do yoga. So I will have that on the channel as well as um, this 30 day challenge. Okay. All right. I just figured I should share that little tip because I don't think I've mentioned it before. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content and I will see you next time. Bye.